Hey! Dr. Phil Lucky presents. Wake up, kid! It's half past the youth ain't nothing really changing but the date. But you a grand slammer, but you know Babe Ruth. You gotta learn how to relate. I've been swinging from the pranic gate. I got all the answers, and lo and behold, you got the right key, baby, but the wrong key, ho, yo. What are you doing here? Oh, is it time already to talk about the Battle of Vicksburg? Well, let's go ahead and get started. So most of y'all know that there were a few Civil War battles in Mississippi. There was one in particular that took place in a central part of Mississippi. This battle would be fought for the control of the Mississippi River. So in this video, we're going to talk about the battles of the Civil War that took place in the very state of Mississippi. And yes, we do all wear shoes. I don't know anybody who wouldn't wear shoes in this weather. Brrr. Well, let's begin. The Mississippi River served as the main artery for the supply line for both the Confederacy and the Union. The Union won a few battles battles along the Mississippi, but the main objective was the seizure of Vicksburg. During the battle, food and supplies were cut off. Residents of Vicksburg were forced to eat whatever they could catch, which were often rats. Basically, the siege of Vicksburg in Mississippi would ensure the safe passage of Union ships up and down the Mississippi River. With the high bluffs of Vicksburg, the ships were more vulnerable to gunfire and cannon blasts, fired from the safety of the bluffs. By the Confederate soldiers. This is why President Lincoln saw the importance of seizing control of Vicksburg. According to him, seizing Vicksburg would be a key to winning the Civil War. In 1863, the Civil War would involve a fight for control of the Mississippi River. There were a few unsuccessful attempts to control Vicksburg. After crossing the Mississippi River in April, General Grant's army from the Tennessee challenged Confederate General John Pemberton's army for the control of Vicksburg. Pemberton retreated into Vicksburg until reinforcements could arrive. On July 4th, Pemberton surrendered to Grant, and the vital part of the Mississippi was given under the control of the Union Army. Vicksburg was built on the bluff of the river, which served as an advantage for the Confederate soldiers. This was one of the later cities conquered by the Union. New Orleans and Memphis were already under control of the Union by the time Vicksburg was paid attention to. Grant's mission was to conquer the fighters of the Mississippi. He first tried digging a new canal to change the flow of the river and bypass the Confederate force, but that didn't work. He then tried to land the troops downstream, but they were defeated by the Confederate soldiers, and Grant's Navy weapons could not penetrate the army behind the forts and trenches. His next strategy was to move further down shore and tackle his way at Port Gibson through Raymond, Jackson, Champion Hill, and Big Black River. He attacked Vicksburg from the east this way. One of the main obstacles faced by the Union soldier were swamps and thick brushes of forest. After his attack in Jackson, supplies were cut off from Vicksburg, both military and food supplies. After the successful attack in Jackson, they moved back west towards Vicksburg and began their attack. After the first attack, Grant's army suffered massive loss of lives, while Pemberton suffered little in comparison. However, Grant did not give up. He decided that he should attack him some more before Pemberton's army had a chance to go back. On the night of May 21st, Grant showered the city of Vicksburg 
with gunfire and cannonballs. Not only were the Confederate soldiers in danger, but civilians were too. Both of them ran for cover. And attacks came from all around. And civilians hid into underground caves for cover. Grant could not attack Vicksburg from the west because of heavy artillery fire showering on them from the bank. So Grant's strategy was to shut off the supplies from the east. After many agonizing days of Vicksburg being under siege, Pemberton surrendered and the Battle of Vicksburg was won. After, ba after the battle at Vicksburg was won, the Union now had control of the Mississippi River, the Confederacy was split, and both halves of the Confederacy could not communicate with one another. The news of the Battle of Vicksburg came to Washington, D.C. at the same time the news about the Battle of Gettysburg being won. For some odd reason, Vicksburg is not commonly talked about while we're studying history of the Civil War. But the Battle of Vicksburg was a very important battle in the Civil War. More important than many teachers would have us to believe. And that is the Battle of Vicksburg. I hope you learned a pretty good deal about it. The rest of the Civil War should be pretty much self-explanatory. That's all I got. I you can leave now. People around here want to think I'm crazy for videotaping myself. <laughs>